guys! Welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about our simple pump here, our non-electrical off-grid water system. up from the yurt. Our simple pump is up by the road. Uh, we had a well already up there so we utilized it and it's a little bit of a haul to bring our water back to our home but so far we don't mind it. We don't use a lot of water so it doesn't so it works for us. So we've had the simple pump in our well which we put in ourselves. There's another video of that which I'll put in the comment section. About five years ago, and it's been working flawless ever since we put it in. We've never had any problems. <laughs> go that way a little bit. Okay, there you go. We've never had any problems. The only problems we do have with it is sometimes it freezes in the winter, but um, that's definitely not a manufacturer's problem or anything like that. That's just, we didn't have a house around it, which we have now because we come up towards the well house. Um, we can show you the little house we built to allow it to stop freezing. So as you can see, our little pump house, it's not finished yet, but it's almost finished. It just needs a better roof on it. So with our new pump house here, there's a window which we keep open in the summer, in the fall, in the spring, but we will close it in the winter time. And this way it'll allow the south sun to come into the well house, heat it up in here, and hopefully keep this from freezing. So here's the simple pump. It's pretty simple. That's why it's called the simple pump. Um, check out our other video for the components that make up the simple pump, mostly PVC pipe and some kind of rotting system inside the PVC pipe. And this nice attractive pump here that sticks up out of your already existing pump and a kitty. So um, this is the resting position. You keep it up which will allow all the water to drain back out and will help it from freezing because now there won't be water stuck in there. What freezes the most on us actually is the handle because some water will kind of drip out and then get on here and then this part will freeze a little bit. So, and then sometimes there's a little bit of freezing up in here. Besides that, been no problems. Now this is our only source of getting water out of our well. Most people will probably be using this as a secondary source with their electric pump and then this as a backup in case of power outages. But this has been our main source of water. So after five years, you can probably imagine that we used it a lot, frequently. We don't come out, come out again, you're gonna demonstrate for us. All right, uh -huh. so this obviously hasn't been used in a while. Um, you know, a couple hours, I mean. So, there's no water in it. We're going to show you how many pumps, full pumps it takes to get the water coming out and then um, what it looks like when it comes out. Right now there's a spout on it that we put on. So I'm going to take it off and show you what, what happens when it, when it comes out of what was given to us with the kit. This was a kit we bought. Okay, go ahead. Show our demonstrator here. Be our nice demonstrator. Is that two? Three. Three. Four. All right, and there's the water. Go ahead, keep pumping. So pretty easy. Yeah. Quite a bit of water's coming out. All right, stop pumping. So that's the off position. Up. Let's put this in. <laughs> this is just some simple piece we bought at the hardware store. Um, go ahead and pump now and show you uh, how. It, it can shoot with a little attachment on. Whoa! 
so that's pretty far that's got some power we attach a hose to it and run the hose to the garden um, there's definitely many different things you can do with this so this thing can pump uphill which is uh, one of the reasons why we got it because our yurt is actually uh, up a incline back there so if we want to run piping or hosing or something of that nature we could pump it right up to the home um, I forget the exact um, distance but you can check that out on their website uh, simplepump.com people are always asking in the comments where I got it from uh, simple and we were able to put it together ourselves which is another reason why we went with it uh, the price wasn't too bad now we bought this five years ago I think I spent about 1500 on it uh, which isn't too bad for something that doesn't cost us any money now no electricity or anything like that there are upgrades you can get to it too check them out on the website uh, like solar solar so you don't have to actually come out here and pump it yourself you could run solar and still be able to use it if the power's out and there are um, different knobs down here that you can attach say your electric um, pump could go into this one and therefore you could have both pumps set up at the same time so definitely awesome to have in case you're worried about your power going out and not having any water which is pretty important to have so I think I give the simple pump a 9 out of 10 um, I think Darren would probably give it a uh, lower scoring because it is fairly simple. We probably could have done this ourselves um, as far as the PVC piping and the inner rod. Um, we probably could have just pieced everything together. It would have took us a little bit longer. It definitely wouldn't have been as expensive. So he probably would have gave it maybe like a 6 out of 10 just because of the ease of doing it yourself. But um, I like the ease of buying it and having it ready to go, so I give it a 9 out of 10. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments below and we'll try to answer them for you. I'm sure the website can answer a lot more detailed questions, simplepump.com. Um, thanks for watching our video. Check out some of our other videos on living off-grid without electricity and... Um, living in a yurt and gardening and all that fun homesteading stuff. So, thanks. Have a good day. Peace.